I would like to turn you over to our um, MC for the evening, Karen, Dr. Karen Philbrick, who is the Executive Director of the Mineta Transportation Institute. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Karen Philbrick, and I have the pleasure of being the Executive Director of the Mineta Transportation Institute. I've, <laughs> I've also had the pleasure of meeting many of you previously, and I am delighted to welcome you to our virtual ceremony tonight. Please know that you're invited to join us next year in person so we can have that interaction and be together to celebrate you once again. I gotta make sure. I'm Though this year has certainly been marked by, right here, right? by turmoil for our nation, our students have clearly clearly persevered and it's time to celebrate those accomplishments even though it's in a virtual format so i would like us all to applaud our students for their perseverance and even if you can't hear it students we're, we're doing it here in real time um, as we all know all students regardless of circumstances must adapt to new circumstances when pursuing higher education this includes adjusting work schedules personal lives, family commitments, all to accommodate that ultimate goal. And this year, as we all know, our graduating class has gone through circumstances above and beyond those traditional challenges. They've demonstrated resilience. They have found a way to adjust to the sudden and often drastic changes imposed by this global pandemic. And so I'd like to pause for a moment and just imagine what these last few months must have been like for these students. I know it's been challenging for me and I am not taking on that extra workload. Many of you have transitioned to working remotely. You've provided distance learning to children, cared for ailing relatives and adjusted to a public health crisis and nationwide protests, but you didn't pause and you didn't stop. And we wanna congratulate you. I am literally in awe of your hard work. And I'd like to share a quote by Booker T. Washington, which is, I have learned that success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life, but by the obstacles which he has had to overcome while trying to succeed. We recognize your success. We know that you will make the world a safer and more equitable place. And now I'd like to acknowledge our esteemed colleagues, each of whom are industry thought leaders. They've dedicated their lives to improving mobility for all in an equitable and innovative way. Their experience, their insight, their strategic direction really ensures that MTI stands out as a leader in transportation education and research. And we thank them for their service. So tonight, joining us from across the nation, we have Secretary Mineta, who you will hear from in a few moments, and he will have a longer introduction at that time. We have MTI Chair Abbas Mahadis, who will also share a few words of encouragement. We have MTI Vice Chair Will Kempton, MTI Trustee and Past Chair Grace Krunikin, Trustee Rose Gilbo, Trustee Diane Wooden Jones, Trustee Therese McMillan, Trustee Jeff Morales, and the Lucas College and Graduate School of Business Dean and Trustee Dan Mashavi. We are all here together to celebrate you. Um, the founding <laughs> executive director of MTI, Rod Diridon, who's going to be joining us from McLeod. And finally, a very, very special thank you to Dr. Marco Pagani who's the Associate Dean for the Lucas Graduate School of Business. Thanks to all. And now before we go any further, let's take a moment to hear a congratulations video from our officers. Please hit it. First of all, thanks a million to all of you for having chosen the Netta Transportation Institute to get your master's in transportation science management. The other thing is, of course, more importantly today, congratulations on your graduation from the uh, Manetta Transportation Institute. I'm hoping that this will be your entry point 
for your professional uh, career and uh, days in the future. So again, congratulations to all of you in the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020, receiving your master's degree in transportation management. I admire your courage and hard work to accomplish this program at the prestigious Mineta Institute. We live through this pandemic that is changing our lives and the way we travel. You have an opportunity to profoundly impact the transportation systems policy, planning, operations, and management. I wish you the best. Please stay healthy, resilient, and thank you so much. I'm Will Kempton, and a proud member of the Mineta Transportation Institute Board of Trustees. As you know, the Mineta Institute is engaged in many notable research and advocacy endeavors, but our greatest accomplishment is the matriculation of graduates of our master's program in transportation management. Due to your hard work and perseverance, you are now a member of this elite group of professionals who have earned the right to be counted among the best in your chosen careers. I wish you sincere congratulations on your graduation and all the best in the future. Now, go out and celebrate, but stay safe. <laughs> Thank you so much to our trustees. That was a terrific video, but it only featured our founder, our chair, and our vice chair. So at the end of today's ceremony, we have a very special treat for you, which is a full screening of all of our trustees taking a moment to send you their well wishes. So we hope you'll stick around for that. Now, be on behalf of the trustees and the staff, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge our sponsors, in particular, our benefactor, the American Public Transportation Association, our patrons, Econolite Group and Union Pacific Railroad, and our donors, the Association of American Railroads, Infra Strategies, Lee and Elliott, and WHM Corporation. They very generously supported this particular celebration. And tonight, together, Despite the challenges and not being physically in person, we've continued to raise funds to support the next generation of student leaders. It's just a tremendous thing, and we thank you to all of our sponsors. Now, I do have the pleasure of introducing Secretary Manetta. He's an incredibly powerful mentor and true American hero. He is our founder. Secretary Mineta began by being named the mayor of San Jose, the first Asian American to be named a mayor of a major metropolitan city. He then served in Congress representing us for 20 years before being tapped for presidential appointment in not one, but two administrations. First as Secretary of Commerce in the Clinton administration, then as Secretary of Transportation in the Bush administration. This is unique because it makes him only the fourth person in our nation's history to have that distinction of being appointed in two cabinets from two political parties. So he continues to be very active. He addresses our students, he mentors them, but he's perhaps most well known for his ability to reach across the aisle and to build a consensus. It's, um, it's a skill I wish we saw more of reflected today, in fact. So we will always be grateful and humbled by your service, Secretary Mineta. And I now turn it to you to say a few words. And before you do that, for those of you who may not know, not only is the Institute named after him, so is our international airport, as well as our highway. So Norm, take it away. Well, thank you very much, Karen. I you know, my technical skills of trying to get on uh, were a little deficient, so I apologize for getting on uh, late. But in any event, I, I just want to say thanks to, to all of you um, uh, for, uh, for being part of the MTI uh, uh, master's program. And so, of course, I want to thank all of you for being part of this ceremony this evening uh, with your family and loved ones. And to uh, all of you graduates, you have managed 
to complete this degree with challenges we could not have foreseen. But you persevered, and um, so um, uh, again, uh, you have met all of these obstacles and uh, adopted and uh, adapted, proving once again that in times of struggle, leaders pave the way forward. The rapid changes in the transportation industry and indeed our future as a whole demand leaders like you who rise to unprecedented challenges. Now this MSTM program has provided all of you with the tools that are necessary to implement real change, but it is up to each of you to apply them. And I have no doubt that you will. Now, to me, I want you to, you possess two things that no one else has. One is your name, and the second is your integrity. And I want you to protect both of those to the very greatest extent that you can. Because without integrity, you won't have the respect of your peers and your colleagues for them to feel reliable in you to be able to get things done. So I want you to uh, protect your name and your integrity. Now you can have long, short-term goals, mid-term goals, and long-term goals. But I don't want you to be looking so far into the future as you consider those goals that you're going to trip on something that's right in front of you. So again, do everything you can to protect your integrity, and that will carry you for the rest of your life. And so I leave you with this thought. Success is rarely defined by moments of ease, but rather by the moments that challenges us to push beyond our preconceived limits. So again, you are a source of, in, of inspiration for your peers. And it is with great pride that I congratulate each and every one of you on this special achievement. And I also want to thank the families and the wives, uh, parents, brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, whomever, who have helped you to get to this point and people who you have trusted and relied on to help you as you needed mentoring or assistance have you may, as you have made your professional and career goals. Now, the other thing that I want you to understand is that in a democratic society, you have everyone from a well-read citizen to someone who may want to seek political office. Now, you don't have to seek political office to do public service. And so I want each and every one of you, as you pursue your career and professional goals, also take some time to say to your mayor, your county executive, your governor, to the president of the United States, I'm a subject matter expert, and I would like to serve on a board or a commission. That way you can still pursue your career and professional goals, and yet at the same time, give of yourself in terms of public service. And there is nothing better nor more rewarding than to be able to do things 
that are beyond self so that you are helping others pursue their own goals and be there for the greater good of the community, of the state, of the nation. So again, congratulations to each and every one of you and to your families, extended family and loved ones. And congratulations to all for helping you get to this point tonight. Congratulations, everyone. I know you will do well, and I wish you the best for the all of your future endeavors. That was outstanding, Secretary Mineta. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing those words. And your message about service beyond the self is so important. It's important at any time, but particularly meaningful given our current experience. So graduates, I hope you take Secretary Mineta's message to heart and go out in this world and make a change both professionally and personally. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our esteemed MTI board chair, Abbas Mahadas, who also serves as president and CEO, excuse me, COO of Econo Light Group. He is just selflessly given of his time to help support the Institute and to help provide strategic direction. Abbas, please share a few words with our graduates. Thank you so much, Karen, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, with those wonderful and inspiring words. Good evening, graduates and guests. Thank you for joining me and my esteemed colleagues. It is with great pleasure that I speak to you this evening, but it is also with great urgency we send you out into the world. We all know that pursuing higher education can be difficult, even under normal circumstances, along with research papers to write, and chapters to read. Many of you also hold down a job or even two, as well as take care of your families and maintain your social lives. However, you, our class of 2020, have faced more challenges than ever. As we all know, these recent months have ushered in drastic change. You have faced the anxieties that come with fighting a global health pandemic, the challenges that come with distance learning. This is a time of political demonstration, seeking social justice in the fight to end our nation's his history of systemic racism. And you have persevered. Tonight, all your hard work has brought you to this moment. I'm so proud of everything you have accomplished. Now more than ever, we need students like you who are able to recognize the importance of equity and inclusion, the grand potential of technological innovation, and the significance of overcoming even the most challenging obstacles to become better people than we were yesterday. Most importantly, let you know what it means to persevere and come together for greater good of your community. Look into our future. I'm confident you will overcome any challenges thrown your way and that you will work to make our mobility more efficient, safer, more inclusive, more equitable, and ultimately better for all of us. Let's stay healthy, safe, and resilient. And once again, congratulations for graduating from the prestigious Mineta Transportation Institute. Thank you. Thank you again, Abbas. Uh, we very much appreciate your dedication to the Institute and for those warm words of congratulations to our graduates. And now it's time to go on into our award ceremony. And so it's, I am honored to present our MSTM Student of the Year, Ms. Michelle Louie. Michelle works for SamTrans as a transit planner. She has an outstanding academic record in our master's program, and her instructors collectively and all agree that she has a stellar future in the industry. 
She was our featured student in our May Spotlight newsletter and her ongoing commitment to transportation equity and innovation was recently recognized by WTS International when they awarded her not one, but two scholarships. Sam Trans is lucky to have you, Michelle. Please say a few words. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> and good evening, everyone. Congratulations to our class of 2020. Never would I have imagined when I began this program two years ago with you all, that this is how we would conclude our chapter in transportation management at the Veneta Transportation Institute. At the start of the year, I am, was imagining something more of a banquet where we would all walk with our caps and gowns and hoods and perhaps even meet Mr. Mineta in person himself. But here we are back on Zoom, our favorite platform that we've grown so familiar with over the past two years. <laughs> and some of you I met on my first day of class in campus in San Jose. And some of you I have only met virtually across the state. But all of you have contributed so much to make this graduate experience memorable and most importantly, meaningful. I thank each of you for that. One thing that I'm also sure many of us are grateful to MTI for is how it has allowed us to gather together from diverse backgrounds in transportation to share our expertise, to learn together, and also to lift each other up. I know these past few months have not been easy for you. As essential workers in transportation, many of us have had to sacrifice our time, our normal routines, and for those in transit, even our ridership. But I ask you to remember this year, not just as the one where we graduated together or the year where a pandemic struck, but remember how we persevered and responded to such an obstacle. What you gather in this year is novel for transportation. We are trailblazers in the industry for how we face head on the new challenges, but more importantly, for how we develop solutions to mobility. Whether we are on the front line as dispatchers, operators, maintenance, or even transit police, or behind the scenes in operations, engineering, planning, finance, and marketing, it takes a village to keep our transportation in buses, rail, and highways running in our communities. Your organization needs you right now, your creativity, your effort, and your dedication. Our cities have never relied on safe transportation and new forms of mobility as crucially as right now. As we continue in the workforce armed with our increased expertise, we're changing and improving how people access destinations. I hope that you all have made the most of this transportation management program, as I know I have, and the application of what you have learned is up to you. I encourage you all to continue being an active participant in your organization and in the field of transportation. Be empowered in knowledge, both in the classroom and in the field. So once again, I thank you all for growing together in the past two years. And I will definitely miss seeing you all in those four hour evening um, Zoom class sessions. And I wish all of you the best of luck in your careers. I do hope that we will certainly see, stay in touch after this. And again, thank you and congratulations to our class of 2020. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much for sharing those words, Michelle. You are indeed a trailblazer and your words epitomize everything this program is about and the bright future that we have for our next generation of transportation leaders. We're really, we're really just so proud of you. So let's turn now to the Dean. I'd like to invite the Dean of the College of Business at San Jose State University, Dr. Dan Mishavi, to now share a few words with you. Dan, take it away. Thanks, Karen. Congratulations, everybody. It's my pleasure to welcome you as alumni of San Jose State University, those Spartans. Um, you know, I've been thinking a lot about 
everybody else's words and the, the perseverance comments and the, the challenges in particular this last semester. And you know, when you think about what often is touted as what you've developed, it's your, your skills, your knowledge. And, and there's something else I wanna point out that, that I see all the time, uh, particularly with graduate students, and that is the development of your voice. That's your writing voice, right? And for some of you, as you worked on your capstone projects, your writing voice got refined and refined and refined again. Uh, it's also your speaking voice, right? Knowing not simply uh, what to say, but how to say it and when to say it. And, and those are skills and, and, and attributes, I think, that you will, you will continue to refine throughout your entire life, uh, not to mention your professional career. Uh, you will continue to have to write for different audiences. You will continue to have to speak to different audiences. You will know when to raise your voice and when to lower your voice. And, um, and you'll, you'll get a much better sense of really what your true voice is. And my hope is that this program helped you on that journey to know your voice. Uh, based on what I've heard from Asha and others in the program, uh, there are some very powerful voices that uh, we can't wait to hear from moving forward in the future, both personally and professionally. And so it is my pleasure to congratulate you. Uh, I'm actually going to raise a glass here. I started a little bit earlier, but uh, wait a minute, there, where's the glass? There it is. Um, and wanted to wish you many, many congratulations, best wishes from your alma mater for your master's degree, San Jose State University, and cheers. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce Asha Weinstein Agarwal. Asha is a central figure in the Masters of Science and Transportation Management program here at San Jose State. She's the MTI Education Director, uh, a professor in the Department of Urban and Regional Planning, and an award-winning scholar. So please join me in welcoming Asha. Thank you, Dan. It is my great honor to be able to present to you the 20 students who are graduating with the degree of Master of Science in Transportation Management. Um, and I will mention, by the way, that many of them have also simultaneously earned graduate certificates in either transportation security management or high speed and inner city rail management. For those of you who may not um, be familiar with all the details of our, our master's program, students complete 10 rigorous courses that cover subjects from transportation policy to marketing and communication, communications to principles of leadership and funding and finance in the transportation sector. And our graduates manage this while working full-time jobs in the industry. Um, Every year, it's, it's, I'm uh, in awe, um, and it's a testament to their commitment to professional development um, and to wanting to give back to the very fullest of their talents to their profession, that they finish a long day's work, and then at 5.30, start a four-hour class. And I'm sure that there are a few students who actually first <laughs> do the four-hour class and then go on to work because we also have students who are in operations and, and you know, working on traditional schedules. Now, as I introduce our graduates, I'm gonna share for each one, of course, their name, where they work, but also the title of the capstone report that they have spent more than six months working on. These are independent writing projects um, where our students choose a topic that's important to them, dig deeply into the subject matter, and then um, hopefully, um, and, and Dan Moshavi's words are perfect. Um, they then write about it in their, their voice, what they have learned. So, um, and I'm gonna to introduce each of the students. Some are not able to be here, um, but I'm gonna just nevertheless um, share their names and their capstone titles. And I also have to admit that I guess I'm having some trouble letting go of my role as a teacher because I, um, well, I gave them homework. <laughs> <laughs> for this event. Um, and I asked if each of them could share with us, it, and it would give like to give thanks to anyone by name that they have the opportunity to do that, but that also if they could tell us in 10 words or less, 
some piece of advice they would like to give to their future professional selves. Um, so now let me begin. Um, and uh, graduates, please, um, I think you know the order, but just, you know, you can unmute yourself as I'm saying your name and then be ready. Um, and and if, if anyone doesn't want to speak, that's absolutely fine too. Um, but let me begin with Lorena Alvarez, who works for the City of Palo Alto as a Utilities Customer Service Specialist. And her capstone was entitled, An Evaluation of the City of Palo Alto Provided Commuter Benefits. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to say uh, thank you to my family, my friends, um, especially my mother, Esther, and my daughter, Ava. And an advice I wanted to give my future self and everybody else is time is your most precious resource, so spend it well. Thank you, Lorena. Good advice for all of us, um, as I'm sure all of the graduates will when they share their, their advice to their future selves. So uh, next, I would like to introduce and present Brandon Barnett. Brandon works for the DHS Transportation Security Administration as a lead transportation security officer. And his capstone was titled Evaluating Customer Relations at Transportation Security Administration Checkpoints in United States Airports. Hi everyone, my name is Brandon Barnett. I would just like to thank my uh, family, my, my mother and my wife, Lauren Barnett, as well as my teachers and Everyone and my classmates that helped me get through this program. My advice to myself would just be to always continue looking for new opportunities and making new connections and never settling for 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 less and just keep looking for new uh, ways to move up and, and where we're going. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brandon. Next, I would like to introduce Patty Boonlu. Patty works for VTA as an environmental planner, and her capstone was entitled assessing the effectiveness of MTC's community-based transportation planning program at closing transportation gaps for disadvantaged communities in the Bay Area. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Um, I want to say thank you to my family, my friends who are tuning in here, and uh, my boyfriend for the endless support. I also want to thank my mentors and supervisors at VTA for inspiring me every day. And an advice for my future self would be to never lose your passion and your commitment to make the world a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Next, I would like to introduce to you Manuel Salvador Borayo. Um, Manuel works for VTA also. Um, he's a senior communication system analyst, and his capstone was titled Evaluation of Santa Clara Valley Transportation Authority's Project Delivery, Alum Rock Bus Rapid Transit Construction Project. And Manny, why don't you unmute yourself? Good evening, everyone. I want to just thank my family, my friends, my colleagues, Jeffrey, Rapal, Brandon, for you know getting this program together and kind of pushing each other to uh, prosper. And it, it wouldn't have been possible without them, to Patty and Lorena as well. You know, we all work together to make sure that we deliver this and you know, we're here today. Uh, some of the words for myself in the future, you know, just continue to push yourself, give it 110%, never ever give up. And remember only you can stop yourself. Uh, don't let anyone put limitations on what you can achieve. With that, I'll close. Thank you, executives and Asha and everyone else. Thank you so much, Manny. Um, next, I would like to introduce Haley Dean. Haley works for BART as a scheduling analyst, and her capstone was entitled An Evaluation of Bay Area Rapid Transit's Crisis Intervention Campaign to Prevent Suicides and Suicide Contagion on District Property. Thank you, Asha. I just wanted to thank my amazing fiance for his endless support throughout the program. And of course, my family for always supporting me throughout my education would say you can achieve anything with focus, drive and dedication. Thank you, Haley. Our next student I'm going to introduce, I don't believe is going to be joining us, um, but that would be Robert Fitzgerald, who works for BART as a shop superintendent, and his capstone was entitled BART Customer Satisfaction and Ridership. 
The next student that I would like to introduce is Aisha Gatewood. Aisha also works for BART. There's a theme here. We've got a lot of wonderful BART students. Um, Aisha works for BART as a station agent, and her capstone was entitled Empowering the BART Police Department While Fostering a Thriving Relationship Between Its Officers, Their Command Staff, and the Communities They Serve. The next student that I would like to present is Anthony Griffin. Anthony works also for BART as a station agent, and his capstone was entitled Evaluating BART's Fair Evasion Prevention Program Through the Point of View of Station Agents. Hi, everybody. It's uh, Anthony Griffin. I'd just like to thank all my fellow classmates for being uh, so positive and uh, getting, uh, finishing this journey with each other. Uh, I'd like to thank all my coworkers at BART and managers and supervisors in the whole uh, MTM staff. Um, if I could tell my future self something, it would just be uh, remember what got you here and uh, stay the course. Thank you, Anthony. Um, next, I'll introduce uh, or present, since he's not here, Jonathan Huff. Jonathan works for Caltrans as a project manager, and his capstone was titled Railroad Crossing Safety, Section 130 Program Risk Assessment, Effective Treatments, and Quantified Risk Reduction. Um, Jonathan, are, I think Jonathan's not here, but oh, okay. So the next student that I would like to present is Rapal Kanda. And Rapal, whoops. Um, yes. Oh, um, yeah. Um, Rapal works for, uh, back, back there we go. Thank you. Rapal works for VTA as a management analyst, and his capstone was entitled Ridership Evaluation. Is VTA experiencing a ridership crisis on its core bus routes? Yes. Hi. Thank you for that introduction. I'd like to thank uh, everyone, all my colleagues. Uh, all my coworkers, all my uh, fellow classmates that I had classes with, you know, we all worked together and we got it done together. That's, that's all that matters. And um, for my future self, I would tell myself to stop procrastinating. I have this motto that, that most people at ETA know that says, if it's due today, you do it today. So I got to tell my future self to stop doing that. <laughs> Thank you, Rapal. And next, I would like to introduce William Kang. William works for BART as a shop scheduler, and his capstone was entitled Evaluation of Random Drug Testing in the Trucking Industry. Is it possible to cheat? Yeah, hello, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm most thankful for the challenging experiences made possible by my classmates and the faculty. Uh, one name that stands out is uh, Dr. Joseph Cott. Uh, you know, uh, much thanks. The last uh, two and a half years have been the best days of my life. And the best uh, professional advice I would give myself is that uh, discomfort, pain, and uncertainty, they're really horrible indicators of potential. So thank you. Thank you so much, William. Thank you. And I'd also just like to take a moment. Um, William offered thanks to Dr. Joseph Cott, who was a longtime instructor in our program. And um, I guess it's it's been a year now, very unexpectedly passed away. And he's left a, a big hole um, in our community. Everyone who, who knew him was, was very grateful to have known Job. Next, I would like to introduce Lamar Karimi. Lamar works from, for Wilson, sorry, Wilson Sonsini as an analyst, and his capstone was entitled Data Privacy in Transportation, Rights and Protections for Consumers in the Ridesharing Industry. Um, yes, um, undoubtedly I have to probably thank uh, my family first for the you know, support they've provided me throughout this journey, uh, in particular my father, um, who's always kind of a uh, led me at the very end of the tunnel where there's light and when things seem to be bleak. Uh, but uh, in terms of advice, I mean, I think we all know we're living in uncertain times right now. So just remember to take a breath when things are a little stressed out and just remember to smell the flowers every now and then. Thank you, Lamar. And now I'm um, someone you've met before, Michelle Louie. 
Michelle, again, works for Sand Trans as a transit planner, and her capstone was entitled Evaluating the Effectiveness of Sand Trans Route FCX, a commuter express route between Foster City and San Francisco. Thank you, Asha. First off, I would like to thank my parents. They're sitting right behind me <laughs> and the family that's here and also joining remotely and also um, many of my mentors along the way. That includes Dr. Joseph Cott that you mentioned earlier. Um, one piece of advice that I'd like to give my future self is not to be afraid of the unknown, as this year has obviously shown a lot of the things going on in transit planning is unknown territory. And I would just like to remind myself there's nothing to be afraid of. Um, after, you know, we're always going to get through this and become more resilient. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, the next two students I will present, I believe, are not attending, although if you are, please speak up. Um, first, we have Juan Mata. Juan works for BART as a manager of transit vehicle cleaning, and his capstone was entitled San Francisco Bay Area Rapid Transit Train Cleanliness Issues. Next, I would like to present Ahipsa Mohanty. Um, Ahipsa works for Articart Private Limited, and her capstone was entitled. Oh. Her capstone was entitled Evaluating the Process of Sustainability Reporting at Santa Clara Valley Transit Association. Next, I would like to present to us Joshua Perez. Um, Joshua, I'm not sure if you're here. If you are, why don't you go ahead and unmute so I know you're here. Um, Joshua works for the BART Police as a background investigator, and his capstone was entitled, Is Seeking and Obtaining the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, CALEA, Accreditation a Beneficial Tool for Law Enforcement Agencies? The next student I will present is Michelle Ruan, and Michelle works for Caltrans as an associate transportation planner. Her capstone was entitled, Evaluating Whether the City of Oakland's e-scooter share per permitting programs outreach efforts addressed community concerns. Hi, everyone. I just want to say uh, many thanks to my brother, Richard, for his unlimited support, my friends, family, uh, colleague, and the professors at, uh, for this program. Definitely would not have finished it without all their help, and it was so great to learn from them. As for the advice I would give to myself is perseverance is key. If you don't take every opportunity, you really never really know what's going to happen, and even if you don't believe in yourself, it's important to take the lead. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Next, I will present Latasha Sheridan. Latasha works for LA Metro as a manager in the Rail Operations Control Center, and her capstone was titled Improving the LA Metro Expo Line On-Time Performance. Thanks, Asha. I'd like to thank my family, my coworkers, my classmates, all the professors and management for um, their support and encouraging me to keep going. And to my future self, um, my future professional self, I like to advise myself to continue learning and applying what I've learned through this process. Thank you, Latasha. Certainly, as an educator, words, words that speak to me. Um, next, I would like to present Kimberly Weaver. Kimberly works for the City County Association of Governments of San Mateo County as a transportation program specialist. And her capstone was titled, An Evaluation of Microtransit as Paratransit that can decrease service cost and increase service quality. Good evening, everyone. I just want to thank my friends and family, my boyfriend, um, my coworkers, and um, especially my manager who's tuning in on Zoom, Khaki, who is an MTM, MTM alum, and my dog, Mino, and for all their support. Um, definitely uh, want to um, um, say for my future self to always, always learn and grow, especially in this industry that's ever-changing. That's all. Thank you, Kimberly. 
And the last of our um, Master of Science graduates that I'll be presenting is Courtney Williams, Jr. Courtney works for Caltrans as an Associate Transportation Planner, and his capstone was entitled Identifying Opportunities to Improve Caltrans Employee Public Participation Procedures. Uh, thank you for the introduction, and um, I'd like to give thanks to my family. Uh, big shout out to my sister. She was a huge inspiration for me, really even doing this program, just based off one conversation, and it really altered like my life from there on. Also want to give a shout out to my supervisor, Amar Sid, um, and my mentor, Will Kempton, and really everyone who I've been in touch with and talked with in this program. I think everyone's great. I'm really excited for what the future has for us all. And um, some advice that I want to give to my future self is to maintain the mindset of a student um, and also be collaborative and inclusive. Thank you so much, Courtney. So now um, we, I also want to acknowledge two students who have completed one of our graduate certificates. Um, they are Ruben Cervantes, who works for LA Metro, and David E. McFeely, who works here at San Jose State University. And now um, I have a chance to introduce to you the president of the MTM Alumni Association, Olivia Rocha. Olivia is going to present the Alumni of the Year Award that our, our alumni every year honor, uh, honor one of their, their colleagues with. Olivia is um, well, president of the MTM Alumni Association. Um, she has worked at BART for over 15 years in the office of the Chief Information Officer. Olivia serves as a leadership in a leadership role representing close to 200 BART employees as president of SEIU 102, do I get it, one, <laughs> Professional Chapter Service Employees International Union. Olivia. Yes, hello. Thank you, Asha. Hello, graduates. As your MTI MSTM Alumni Association President, I welcome all of you graduates to visit our mticonnect.org website where you'll find information, alumni information, pictures, and more. We want you to keep in touch uh, and let us know your achievements as you move on in your journey. In addition, also, I am personally inviting each of you to next year's graduation as alumni guest, and I personally will provide each of you a ticket to attend next year's convocation, so let me know if interested. Um, as the MTI MSTM Alumni Association President, it is my honor to announce Rachel Donovan as a 2020 MTI Alumni of the Year. Rachel received her MSTM degree in 2011, and Rachel has been an active member of the alumni leadership team as president from 2015 to 2019. We hope you'll enjoy the article about Rachel and her career written by MSTM alumni vice president, Donna Murillo. And I welcome all of you and good luck students. Okay, Rachel. Oh, um, can you hear me? Yes. Can you guys see me okay? I can't even see what my own video looks like. We can see you and hear you, Rachel. Oh, okay. I just wanna thank you all for honoring me with this award. I feel like, um, you know, I must be the spirit award when I look at the uh, other people who have received this alumni award. They're executive directors and presidents of their organization. And um, for me, I am a, a bridge inspector and I rappel off of bridges, and I'm uh, not the director or president of anything. Um, but uh, I really appreciate you guys all having faith in me and uh, and selecting me. Definitely feel very honored and humbled even to be able to brush elbows with the other folks who have received this award in the past. Um, but uh, I just um, want to thank the Alumni Association for how much you guys have done for me in terms of the network that we have, the um, possibilities for our careers that have opened up by being able to associate with all these other fantastic alumni uh, for the new MSTM grads 
you may not realize how many wonderful alumni, I mean, way, you know, way more accomplished than I will ever be. And some of them have already uh, been recipients of the Alumnus of the Year Award. And if you go to our website, mticonnect.org, it lists the um, alumni, alumnus or alumna of the year award recipients that have already been awarded. And it's pretty impressive seeing that those are your own classmates. And some of them maybe finished the program uh, 10 or 15 years ago, but they have reached the pinnacle of many, many different, uh, depending on, you know, many different transportation organizations and really gone all the way to the top. So that's the kind of future that you may have as an MT, MSTM alumna or alumnus. And um, I think that the MTI network of, of alumni helps to keep those connections strong. And there are so many stories that we've heard of people finding out about jobs and you know getting up that career ladder a little bit further through the connections with this program. So um, I have felt that as well. And I just wanna thank all of you for being a part of it. Actually, I wasn't supposed to be in the script here, but Rachel, you were just too modest. I need to show, uh, throw in a few details about Rachel's wonderful career accomplishments. Um, so she has a master's degree in civil engineering, as well as our transportation management um, degree. And she is the only um, woman who's a civil engineer in the state of California who is certified to do rope access inspection. Um, so next time you drive over a bridge and it doesn't collapse and you feel safe and secure driving over it, uh, you can remember that it's Rachel and people like her who, who allow us to, to have that, that good, safe feeling. Um, and she has been president of the San Francisco Bay Area chapter of the Institute of Transportation Engineers. Um, for several years, she led her, the Oakland Caltrans District Office team in the Team Bike Challenge, which I do believe they won several years in a row with Rachel's leadership. Um, and in recognition of all of her advocacy on behalf of cycling as a mode of transportation, in 2014, she received the Alameda County Bicycle Commuter Award of the Year. Wow, that is so impressive. A warm congratulations, Rachel, for your many successes. And I love those photos of you hanging from bridges. <laughs> so thank you for your comments. We greatly appreciate them. And we are coming to the close of this evening's festivities. Uh, I would be remiss if I didn't comment on one of our graduates. Uh, Rapal, I think you said that procrastination is something you would tell your future self to avoid. I wrote myself a note because I think my team would agree with you as it relates to me. So thanks for sharing that advice. I'll see if I can put it to good work. And now in closing, a thank you to the MTI team who made this all possible because it was quite a bit of work behind the scenes. So Dr. Asha weinstein Agrawal, Ms. Irma Garcia, Ms. Saba Maza, Dr. Hillary Nixon, Dr. Michelle Waldron, and finally, Ms. Alvarina Winardi. With that, our formal program is coming to a close, but we invite you to stay for the brief seven minute video of our trustees congratulating you, followed by some open time to visit with your colleagues and your family. We will officially close the Zoom at 7.15, but please stick around for the next 19 or 20 minutes. Again, thank you. You're invited to join us in person next year, and we certainly hope that you will. And for those of you joining us from around the world, all the families, all the friends, the students and the trustees, thank you. Thank you so much. We wish you all the very best. And Congratulations. Let's hear, uh, should we do one big congratulations where everybody gets off mute? Yeah. I'm gonna say yes. All right. Yes. Let's one, two, three. Congratulations. 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 Yes. Congratulations, Cardi. Congratulations, Cardi. Excellent. Nice going, everybody. Thank See you, man. Oh, Looking Green good in that tank. yellow. Make it <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> Congratulations, everyone. Thank Congratulations, you. Rachel. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And to all the grads, you did it. Woohoo!
And Saba, if you could screen the video, please. Thank you. Okay. Am I so huh? Hi, First of all, thanks a million to all of you for having chosen the Netter Transportation Institute to get your Master's in Transportation Science Management. The other thing is, of course, more importantly today, congratulations on your graduation from the uh, Manetta Transportation Institute. I'm hoping that this will be your entry point for your professional uh, career and uh, days in the future. So again, congratulations to all of you in the class of 2020. Congratulations, class of 2020, receiving your master's degree in transportation management. I admire your courage and hard work to accomplish this program at the prestigious Manada Institute. We live through this pandemic that is changing our lives and the way we travel. You have an opportunity to profoundly impact the transportation system's policy, planning, operations, and management. I wish you the best. Please stay healthy, resilient, and thank you so much. Congratulations to the new class of graduates of MTI. Please don't let the fact that we can all be together to celebrate in any way diminish your pride in what you've accomplished. I've had the honor of being a part of MTI graduations for 20 years. I've seen graduates move on to take key positions and play important roles in agencies across the state and around the country. And I look forward to you doing the same. Congratulations and best wishes. To the class of 2020, don't fear change. With change comes a great opportunity. So be the change you wish to see. Congratulations on achieving your Master's of Science in Transportation from the Mineta Transportation Institute. I'm Beverly Swain Staley, President and CEO of Union Station Redevelopment Corporation here in Washington, DC. I'm very honored to be a member of the Mineta Transportation Institute, and we're so proud of our graduates. I wish you much success and bright futures in careers in transportation. We need leaders like you. Thank you. On behalf of the American Public Transportation Association and our nearly 1,500 member organizations, congratulations to the 2020 graduating class of the Manetta Transportation Institute's prestigious Master of Science in Transportation Management program. You have proven yourselves to be individuals who like to challenge the status quo and to transform the way we move people and products. Your time in the program has provided you with the knowledge, the skills, and experiences to be our next generation of transportation leaders. We expect great things from you. Nothing in life is as important as passion. Be bold and let your passion for transportation help create a brighter tomorrow. Hello, graduates. This is a time to celebrate your tremendous accomplishments, to reflect on your journey, and look forward to the opportunities ahead. I applaud you for your hard work, your perseverance, and your commitment to professional development in pursuit of your career aspirations. Our industry is in a profound state of change, and we need your talent, your knowledge, and your leadership to bring us to a better future. Congratulations and best wishes. Class of 2020. Congratulations to you on this historic milestone. My name is Dan Smith, and I am sure you know that transportation is a wonderful area. This is Grace Krunigan, former general manager at BART, and I just wanna throw in my congratulations to all the graduates this year. I'm truly sorry that we're not able to be there with you as you celebrate this great event, but to you and to your families, I wanna say congratulations. I particularly want to give a shout out to Haley, Robert, Aisha, William, Juan, and Joshua, the BART grads. Congratulations for making us so proud. Congratulations, class of 2020. In these unprecedented times, you have demonstrated resolve and resilience 
in achieving this graduation milestone. Best of luck in your future endeavors. The world is lucky to have you. This is Therese McMillan, MTI trustee and the executive director of the Metropolitan Transportation Commission. Hello, I am Nuria Fernandez, the general manager, CEO of the Valley Transportation Authority and a proud trustee of the Medina Transportation Institute. To the graduates of the Master of Science in Transportation Management class of 2020, I just want to share with you that life is filled with many endings and beginnings. As you find yourself at the beginning of this new chapter in your life, bookmark this opportunity and think about all of the great possibilities that lie ahead of you. Pick up your pen, turn the page, and start writing your new beginning. Congratulations. And now, the rest of the MTI team would like to chime in. Congratulations! I'm Will Kempton. I'm a proud member of the Mineta Transportation Institute Board of Trustees. As you know, the Mineta Institute is engaged in many notable research and advocacy endeavors. But our greatest accomplishment is the matriculation of graduates of our master's program in transportation management. Due to your hard work and perseverance, you are now a member of this elite group of professionals who have earned the right to be counted among the best in your chosen careers. I wish you sincere congratulations on your graduation and all the best in the future. Now, go out and celebrate, but stay safe. So once again, thank you all for joining us. That concludes the formal program. But if you'd like to stay around and chat with your friends, colleagues, and family, please do. But we're officially signing off, and we will have a recording of this particular event to accompany the program that was sent out in advance. Again, thank you. Be safe, be well, and we hope to see you next year. Bye. <laughs>